there. In the following video, I will answer the January 2010 question 2 OCR call 4 question on vectors. Okay, let's start straight away by having a look at the question. Uh, it says that you've got uh, points A, B and C with these position vectors. Okay, that, that and that. That means relative to the origin. It says given that A, B, C is 90, find the value of uh, P. Right. I'm going to draw a picture straight away with this, just to get, make sure I have everything in my head appropriately. Points A, B and C have position vectors these, means with relative to the origin. There's the origin, okay? There is angle A, okay? Um, there is, say, let's say, angle, uh, there is position B, and here is position C. Okay, so what we've got going on, we've got a vector from O to A given by a minus 5i minus 10j, I'll write that in, minus 5i minus 10j. Uh, we've got a vector from uh, O to B given by this here, and we've got a vector from O to C given by that here. It tells you that the angle A to B to C is 90. That means that if I was, I'm going to do a different color line here. If I go from A to B and then from B to C, I'm going to color these a different color. Color that one red as well. It's telling us that um, if I go from A to B to C, the angle at B would be 90 degrees. Even though in my picture it doesn't look like it, like it, that's what it's telling me would happen there. And it says using that, find the value of P. Okay, well how are we going to do that? Well what we're going to do, simply, we're going to work out the vector A to B, and we're going to work out the vector B to C. So we're going to work out the vector A to B, okay, and we're going to work out the vector B to C, and we're going to uh, use the dot product of those vectors uh, and know that they will equal zero. They will make uh, right angles with each other. Okay, so how do we get uh, from A to B? Well, you take the position vector B, uh, which I'm going to call little b, and you subtract. Uh, the position vector of A. So I'm going to do that, take away that. Okay, so that is 1, 2, minus 3, 1, 2, minus 3, subtract minus 5, minus 10, 12, minus 5, minus 10, and 12. Okay, I'm going to take those away from each other. 1 minus minus 5 is 6. 2 minus minus 10 is 12, and minus 3 minus 12 is minus 15. Okay, that is the vector A to B. If I take the position vector of B and subtract the position vector of A, I get the vector from A to B. Let's do the same with B to C. I'm going to take the position vector of C and subtract the position vector of B to get how, to, how do I get from B to C. Let's do it. C is 3, 6, and P. 3, 6, and P, and I'm going to subtract B, which I said was 1, 2, minus 3. 1, 2, and negative 3. Okay, 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 6, uh, my, uh, 6 minus 2 is 4, and P minus minus 3 is P plus 3. Okay, and that is the position vector of BC. Now I know that these two angles are 90 degrees, so I know that vector dotted with that vector will be 0. So I know that 6, 12, negative 15, if I dot that, take the dot product uh, of that with 2, 4, and P plus 3, I must get the answer 0 because they are perpendicular. They are at 90 degrees to each other. Let's do it. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 uh, times 4 is 48, so you add that. 
and minus 15 times that, well, that expanding that out will be minus 15p minus 45. And I would get that all equal to 0. OK, let's tidy everything up. 12 add 48 is 60. 60 take away 45 is 15. So I would get minus 15p plus 15 is 0. And solving that equation by subtracting 15 off both sides and divided by minus 15, I would get that p must equal 1. OK, um, let me just copy this and uh, to do the second part, actually. So imagine this is the second question here. I'm forgetting about that for now. I'm going to just delete all this. OK, and I'm going to keep that as it is. It said, given that ABC is a straight line, find the value of P. Now we're doing a different question. None of the above applies. But they're saying, imagine ABC was a straight line. So really, B, just looking at it, would have to be somewhere like here, wouldn't it? B would have to be, this point B, would have to be somewhere like here, so that uh, ABC uh, were in a straight line together. Okay. Now, for A, B, and C to be in a straight line together, um, that must mean that um, the vector uh, AB getting from A to B and the vector getting from B to C must be multiples of each other because they're parallel to each other. So they must be multiples of each other. So on that assumption, if they are a straight line, well, what did we say the vector AB was? Well, using the previous work, we said the vector AB was 6, 12, minus 15. So we said this was 6, 12, and minus 15. And we said the vector BC was 2, 4, and P plus 3. So that's 2, 4, and P plus 3. OK, now if these two are, multi are, are parallel, they're multiples of each other, how do I get from this vector to this? Well, look, if I, for example, with the i's divided by 3, that would work. If I divided by 3 here, that would work. So that means that minus 15, OK, if I divide it by 3, this vector seems to be 3 times bigger than that vector, I must get p plus 3. So solving for p, minus 5 is p plus 3. And subtracting 3 off both sides, p must equal minus 8, or negative 8. And there we go. We have answered uh, question 2 here, the 6 mark question. Fairly straightforward. Um, and I hope you found this useful in your revision for vectors. Thanks for listening.